gesagt. At 260 yards in, he's going to hit the same shot that he hit yesterday. And that will play nicely there. Par, par five. It's okay to have a full third shot here. So Steve has a difficult decision to make here. He has he's decided to bounce it off the car path. Now he It's a good idea. He is entitled to a free drop, but maybe hard to see in the video here, but he wouldn't really have much of a stance and absolute joke. So he's going to try to just chip out a 7 iron, not taking his drop. Very good play. Oh. Just a little short. The good news is that he didn't get hurt, so always a risk. All right, so Steve is now going to try to convert an up and down here to save his par. A little bit of pressure, but he kind of had to just take his medicine on this hole and just try to save it. Played the cart path all the way down. So it looks like he's going to be trying to throw this one up in the air. Yep, there it is. That's it. Alright, so he will have a testy little six or seven footer here to save his par. Looks like a pretty big break here for a six foot putt. Tough hole for him here. So he'll walk away with a bogey. So one over after the first four. Perfect. Only 372 on this par 4, so he took the utility off the tee. So it appears that Steve's ball kicked into the bunker. Not sure if he has much of a stance either. Oh, and he hit it way, way over. Here's the hole. And he is on the tee box for the next hole. 
Okay, short-sighted again. Not a lot of grain to work with here. So it turns out that Steve had 160 yards, but the ball was like sitting crazy and he had to stand in a weird stance. So he's just happy that his golf ball didn't go into the water here. But very difficult shot. He's going to be forced to flop it with his 58 degree. But we've seen him do that before, so this will be a fun one. Definitely important to use your imagination and commit 100% when hitting these full shots, full flop shots. And he threw it way up there, and very nice shot. He took it a little right, but he'll be able to get away with that. Just in line with that bunker in the far right. Alright, so day two of the West Florida Golf Tour. Steve t has decided to play this hole in a very different fashion than yesterday. He almost hit his drive to the green. He actually could have gotten there, but laid off of it a little bit. Definitely has the distance though to get it get it all the way. Um, so he's looking at a short little wedge there. Yesterday his shot took a vicious kick over off of this hill and down into these bushes right over here to the right. So you know what we actually found that with the ground under repair bunker play yesterday, um, he was actually entitled to take even more relief than he actually took. And, and that actually ended up costing him to set himself up to make an eight. So just another reason why knowing the rules of golf in and out is going to help you. It's not always working against you, so. So today we consulted with a rules official just to make sure um, for one of his playing partners and we're sitting there kind of thinking, wish we would have taken a better drop yesterday on this hole. So always important to learn these lessons. Steve is just confirming that he is indeed in the fairway because today is a lift clean in place opportunity. Looks like he has about 35, 40 yards. Roll out. Oh, he's not happy with it, but looks like he's going to have about 10 feet for birdie. Just kind of appeared that it was going to roll out a little bit more than that, but I think the shot selection was the right one, and you know, sometimes it just doesn't, doesn't do what you had in mind. The important thing is just making a commitment and trying to stick with the plan. Alright, 
so Steve has less than 12 feet here for his birdie. It's a really bad putting stroke on that one, but he'll take a four which is still four shots better than he did yesterday. So Steve remains two over, not too thrilled, but still four shots better than he did yesterday. <laughs> Really good. And he is very good opportunity for birdie here. So Steve has about ten to twelve feet here for birdie. It's a little low. Always hurts a little bit to miss it on the low side. Yeah, bombed it. Just did not hit it very well. Maybe lucky if it got over the hazard. There is a chance we can find it, but just didn't didn't hit a very solid shot. Had to go for it though. We didn't come here to lay up. Now the ball, the foot was down. Mm. I didn't realize I stood over. I should have backed off. Definitely should have hit it, but I should have backed off. You know when you you know when you're lined up and you have no idea. It just feels like you're lining up across everything. So Steve will be taking a drop here. Hit his second one into the junk. Just had another tough, you know, ball below his feet lie, which he does not like. He'll be hitting his fourth shot on now. Good. I'll have an uphill putt. So Steve has a pretty long putt here to save his par, say about 35 feet, maybe closer, 38. As he mentioned back there, he 
He does think that he should have hit that shot, the second shot, but just maybe should have reset and focused in. So this would be for his par. Okay, to finish it off here. There we go. The good news is that that hole did not end with a putter throw into the lake. But not a happy ending on this one. All right, so Steve ended up just above the bunker there. Very heavy downwind for his second shot. Sorry about that. I had a little trouble even holding the camera still there with how heavy this wind is blowing. It's, but Steve will be just over the green here with a very important up and down here to stay three over on the back side, a total of four over for the day. Much less stress on this round than compared to yesterday. Took a lot of things out of yesterday though and all in all it's been a good experience and you know definitely a good thing that he's out here working on it. So it is extremely wet on this side of the hole. Um, his playing partner's ball plugged. Steve just took a practice swing and a ton of mud just flew everywhere so. As you can see, very chunky. Oh, come on. That was a great shot. It is, I mean, the flag just, flag stopped it, but didn't let it go in. So he's gonna have to mark that. Wow, what a shot. So he'll take a par. Really cool way to finish though. And big improvement. I think he can be be proud of himself for his hard work this week. Never gave up. And I think he may have gotten a little bit more positive. And we also made a new friend. Lots of positives.